Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a humongousaur from Ben 10. Let's get started at the very top of our page with the eyes. So I'm going to start on the left side with a curve. Going from the outside, we're just going to curve down and in. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So starting on the inside, curving up and then out. We're going to accentuate the frown line. So on the inside, we're just going to curve up and inwards. Now let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So from the outside, I just want to step in to leave a little overlap. I'm going to curve down and then in towards the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. Then I want to thicken up the outside edge of the eye. So I'm going to step out and just taper down towards the bottom, just creating a thicker edge along the outside. Do the same thing on the right. On the inside edge of the eye, I just want to draw a little bit of an eye bag. So on the left side, we're just going to curve down and then out. From the inside top corners of the brow, I just want to curve up above the eyes and towards the outside. So we're going to start on the left, we're going to go up above the eye, towards the outside. Now we're just going to curve down the side of the eye, starting on the left, we're just going to curve around the eye. And then this will work its way in towards the cheekbone. Starting on the left, we're just going to curve in and then down. And then up above the brow line, we're going to draw on the top of the head. So on the left side, we're just going to curve up towards the middle and then pull it down on the right side. Let's move down and draw on the mouth. So just down here, from left to right, I want to draw a curve going up in the middle and then down. We're going to angle up the sides of the mouth with a straight line. And then we're going to angle down and out. draw two short lines coming in towards the bottom lip and then we'll connect the ends with a curve going up in the middle and then down on the right. Let's add some teeth. So on the left side here I'm going to draw a short line going across and then we'll draw a V. We're going to go across towards the right and then we want to do the same thing. We're going to add a little fang, a little V and then continue over towards the right side. Now just underneath the cheeks, we want to curve out towards the side of the mouth. So on the left side, we're going to step in, curve out towards the left, and on the right side, we'll do the same. Then we're going to curve in the opposite direction down towards the chin. And then we want to connect those two points with a curve, coming down in the middle of the chin and over on the right side. Let's go ahead and add some wrinkles around the face. So just on the upper lip on the left side, we're just going to curve up and then on the right we'll curve up and then along the chin. So in the center, we'll go straight up. On the left, we're just going to curve up and out and then up and out on the right. Let's go back up towards the inside of the eye. I'm just going to curve down and in. Do that on both sides. Okay, so now that we've got the face, we're going to work our way through the back. So on either side of the head, I'm going to start on the left side. I'm going to curve up in towards the middle to a little point. I'm going to curve back down over towards the right. And then on the side of the jaw, I just want to curve around the lower part of the neck. So just below the jaw, I'm going to curve around and then just pull this up. Then from here, I want to overlap the shoulders on top of the back. So from this point, I'm going to step in, curve up, and then down over towards the left. I'm going to step in on the right, curve up, and then down on the right. From these two points, I'm gonna round out the shoulders coming down towards the arms. So I'm just gonna bump this out towards the left and then pull it back in. Now let's go back to the center of the body and draw in the upper part of the chest. So just below the chin here, I'm gonna start with a little V. And then on the left side, I'm gonna curve up and out towards the left. And we'll go to the right side, curve up and out towards the right. Let's step down in the middle here and draw in a circle for the logo. So we leave a little gap, start with a circle. Now I want to add a little trim, so we're going to draw a smaller circle on the inside. Now on either side, I want to draw the two points. So on the left, we're just going to angle down and in towards the center. We want to leave a little gap in the middle here. Go down towards the right. We'll do the same thing on the right, going in towards the center and then down back down towards the right. We're going to fill those two areas in black. 
Now we're gonna step down in the middle and draw a curve for the lower part of the chest. So in line with the top of the chest, we're gonna step down and draw a curve going up in the middle and down on the right. Now I'm gonna curve up the side of the chest. So from this point, we're just gonna angle this out a little. So curving up and then out. Now halfway down the chest, I wanna draw the inside edge of the bicep. So halfway along this curve, curve down and out towards the left and then I'm going to pull it up on the inside so just doing a little hook going up let's do the same thing on the right so halfway along this line curve down and over towards the right and then we'll just hook up the end now we're going to move to the outside of the shoulder and curve the outside part of the arm so from here we're going to step up we're going to curve around and then just pull it in and we'll do the same thing on the right From these two points in the chest, I just want to curve up underneath the neck. So from here on the left, I'm just going to curve up and then just pull it in. Do the same thing on the right. Now before I complete the arms, I'm going to work my way down the body. So from the bottom corners of the chest, I'm just going to curve down and in. This is for the stomach muscles. Now we're going to connect those two points with another curve, going up in the middle and then down. We're going to repeat this again. So from these two corners, down and then pull it in and then again connecting those two points with a curve we'll do this one more time Curving down and in and then connecting the bottom with a curve now down here I just want to draw a smaller section here so just drawing a small curve we're just gonna hook up the ends with a small curve going up now let's work in the back going down the side of the body so halfway along the bicep, it's going to curve down and just pull that in, leaving a little bit of space. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to curve in the opposite direction down towards the hip to the same height as this part here. Curving down and then just pulling it back downwards. Now let's continue working down the legs. He's got some really short legs. So in the middle here, we're going to step down to here and draw a curve from left to right for the lower torso. Now we're going to step in and draw on the inside part of the leg. So I'm just going to curve down and out both sides. Now we'll curve in the opposite direction down towards the heel, curving inwards. Now from the heel, we're going to round out the bottom of the foot. So from the heel to the toe, we're going to draw a curve going across both sides. And then we're going to round out the top of the foot. So from here, I just want to draw a little curve going back. Let's go back up to the hips and draw on the outside of the leg. So starting on the left side, I'm going to curve out and then just pull it in to the same height as we had in this point here. So we're rounding out the thigh and coming down to the same height. Now we're just going to draw a short angle line going in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out and then back in to the same height and we'll just hook that back from the tip of the knee, we're going to step up and curve down and out. Do the same thing on the right. Now at the bottom of the feet, I just want to add some toes. It's almost like little half circles going across the bottom of the foot. Starting from the tip of the foot, we're going to go up and pull that down. We're going to leave a little space. Do that again. And then one more. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now that we got the legs, let's go back to the outside and draw on the arms. So we're going to start on the inside edge of the bicep. So right here, we're going to curve down. So we've got a little bit of space between the arm and the back. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve down towards the wrist. So from here, I'm just going to curve out and then down. Let's go back up and draw on the outside part of the forearm. So we're going to step up from this point and I want to taper it in towards the wrist. So right here on the left, we'll curve out, and I'm just gonna pull it in so it tapers in towards the wrist. We'll do the same thing on the right. So stepping up, curving out, and then pulling that in towards the wrist. Going back to the left side, let's go ahead and draw in the fist. So from here, I'm just gonna angle a short line coming in. We're gonna round out the thumb knuckle. Now from here, I just wanna curve down and out. 
And then from this point, I'm gonna step in, just draw a short angle line coming in. We'll angle that back out. Now I'm gonna curve the knuckles, just a curve going over towards the left. And I'm gonna curve this back in towards the wrist. Right up like that. Now in here, I'm just gonna draw a little hook coming down. Let's do the same thing on the right. So from the wrist, we're gonna angle down and in. We'll round up the thumb. Then we're gonna hook this down and out. About halfway, we're gonna draw an angle line going in. We'll angle that back out. Now I'm gonna round out the bottom of the knuckle the outside and we'll curve up towards the wrist and then right up in here I'm just gonna draw a little hook coming down now let's go in and draw the tail swooping over towards the left side so we start on the inside edge of the right leg we're gonna curve down and out underneath the leg we'll continue on the outside of the left leg and curve it down now I'm gonna curve back out I just want to aim for that point in the hip so it's gonna taper out in behind the fist and I'll continue in towards the back. Now from this point in the chest, I just want to curve around the bicep and then down towards the inside edge of the wrist. So let's start on the left side, curving out and back in towards the wrist. We'll do the same thing on the right, going out and then curving that back in towards the wrist. Right in the hip area, I just want to draw a little bit of a wrinkle. So in between the hip and the inner part of the leg, I'm going to leave a little bit of space and just draw a little curve. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's finish this off by adding some wrinkles in the body. So let's start with the shoulder area first. So from the tip of the shoulder, we're just going to curve down and in. We'll step down, draw a shorter curve, and then one smaller one on the end. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we'll draw two more on the back side of the arm. So up here, we're just going to curve across, step down, do the same thing on the right. And then we'll go along the outside edge of the forearm, starting on the left. And then up in the shoulder area, we're just going to curve it downwards. Draw some on the outside part of the body coming down the leg. So on the left side, we'll just curve in and down. And then on the side, we're going to curve in the opposite direction, curving down. Draw a couple more along the shin, going up in the opposite direction. And then finally, some along the tail. So we'll start on the end, just going to curve it down and in. Here. I just want to add one little wrinkle in the ankle here. So right up here, I'm going to draw a curve aiming towards the heel. And same thing on the right side. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Humongousaur from Ben 10. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.